G.I. Joe fans, welcome to another G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra action figure review. For today's Rise of Cobra action figure review, I have Snake Eyes Paris Pursuit. And this is the second version of Snake Eyes in the G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra action figure series from Hasbro. And of course you will notice um, the instantly the differences with this Snake Eye, version of Snake Eyes compared to the first version. He does come with his pet wolf, Timber, and he also sports a really cool trench coat. So, that's the that's one of the main differences that you'll notice right away. And of course, in the picture, he does have his hood up, but you'll notice in the figure, he doesn't even have his hood up. His hood is rolled rolled down. And um, I kind of wish Hasbro included two separate pieces with one hood up and one hood down, kind of like what they did with the Plo Koon uh, action figure from the Clone Wars uh, series. So, anyway. Um, Still looks awesome though. Definitely uh, picked him up because he does come with timber and he's got a really cool trench coat. So, anyway, that's the front of the packaging. Snake Eyes, Paris Pursuit, as you can see right here. And um, really cool image on the side. And back, you have all the other characters in, the, in this wave. And of course, his file card, his ID card. And it just says here on the back. Ninja Master and Military Commando, Snake Eyes trains the G.I. Joe team in hand-to-hand -hand combat. He goes to Paris to track down the nanomite weapons before Cobra forces can unleash them. His loyal pet wolf, Timber, is trained in ninja tracking and protection. So, really cool. And of course, as with everything else, his real name is classified. Serial number is classified. Grade is classified. No thumbprint, fingerprint, anything. Uh, and his only, the only information that he has available is his codename, Snake Eyes, and his preferred weapon a hand-forged steel heirloom katana sword. So, this is Snake Eyes Paris Pursuit, and let me open him up for you. And there is also, if you didn't see it yet, there is a Paris Pursuit Storm Shadow, which looks cool. And he's actually here. You can see him right there. You can see his face in the figure. I'm going to pick that up sooner or later. So, Cannot wait to see this movie. Okay, so I'm just popping out the card. Of course, we've got our plastic sp space gaps. Cut that through. Okay, so you've got your standard G.I. Joe flyer, which I'm not going to show because I've already uh, shown you guys in the previous, previous videos. Plus, if you get this for yourself, you'll see. you got a chance to see it too. Okay, so here is Snake Eyes Paris Pursuit out of the packaging, out of the card. Really, really cool. No elastic bands, which is really awesome. Saves time. We've got Timber, Snake Eyes, and this Katana. pistol and a knife. Of course, his dog tag action figure stand. So, going over Snake Eyes first, here he is, and he's got a rifle, a really big rifle, and he, I'm holding in my in my hands, and he definitely looks awesome. He's definitely a much bigger figure, uh, a feel to him, of course, because of his trench coat, which I think is awesome. It adds to the super coolness that he, uh, of his look. And um, let's see. It is a separate piece that isn't molded onto him, of course. So let's just go over the articulation first. Before anything else, he does have a... It seems like a ball joint in head. Neck. But you can swivel his, his head left to right. Okay, and ball hinged shoulders. He does have, of course, ball hinged elbows, swivel wrists, and it seems like an upper ball torso, and a ball jointed hips, double hinged knees, and of course, he does have his ball hinged ankles. So, again, excellent articulation for Snake Eyes, Paris Pursuit. Um, he's got a big rifle here, which is elastic banded onto his arm, which is a which is a good idea, so it doesn't get lost. Um, I gotta say, this figure definitely looks really cool. 
um, with the molding and the sculpting, even if his trench coat is just gray and there's not much color to him, he still looks awesome. Um, excuse me for the background uh, noise. And so uh, here's Snake Eyes, and of course he does come with his pet wolf Timber. And if I'm not mistaken, Timber is the same mold and sculpt from uh, the 25th anniversary uh, G.I. Joe action figure line. And um, he used to be gray, but now he's black. Um, so he's probably going to be black in the movie, I'm assuming. And the, the variant the variant for the 25th anniversary line used to be the, um, the black color, and since he was regularly called gray. Now, the regular version is black, and I believe the variant of this Snake Eyes Parasaur suit with Timber is gray. So I hope that made sense. So, um, definitely looks cool. I mean, there's no articulation on Timber. He's just pretty much sculpted, but, you know, you don't need articulation. He just looks badass. Pose him right beside Snake Eyes, and he looks so cool. And you can tell that he's definitely a menacing uh, pet wolf, of course. Really, really cool. I can't wait to see him in action in the movie, too. And, of course, Snake Eyes does come with his heirloom katana sword and a sheath. It does come with a peg, and he does, of course, come with a peg hole on the back of his... Uh, trench coat and his back so you can just stick it in there so he definitely looks awesome he's got his katana and he's got his pistol okay and a combat knife okay so really really cool unfortunately it doesn't seem like he does have a holster for his pistol I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I left out nope nothing Unfor so unfortunately yeah no no uh, storage room on the figure at least for the pistol, but it doesn't matter, it's okay, as long as he's got his sheath and a peg hole for his katana so he can carry it, and he can hold his big ass rifle, then Snake Eyes is good to go. Okay, so again, excellent articulation, excellent uh, detail and sculpting, plus you get Timber, his pet wolf, What you can, you can pretty much get two figures for the price of one, so definitely a deal awesome deal. Um, i definitely give this a rating of, uh, I'd say a, a, a 10. 10 out of 10. G.I. Joe stars. I mean, amazing. Really. You get your, your money's worth. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of Snake Eyes Paris Pursuit, and watch out for more G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra action figure reviews. See you guys next time. Bye.